So today we are going to create this VFX object reveal animation in After Effects. Now the best thing is that this is done entirely using After Effects and no third party plugins are used. And this technique you can use it to reveal any kind of object. So let's see how to make this. Alright, so I'm in After Effects and before we proceed, there are a few things that you have to take care of. So in order to create these kind of animations, we basically need two images. One is with the object. So as you can see, we have this image of this book and the other one is the same image but without the book. So you can do this by simply placing your camera on a tripod or some fixed location. Then just take a picture of the object, then remove the object and take one more picture with just the background. After that, you can import both of these images in After Effects and you are ready to go. After that, we can begin by creating a new composition and I'm going to call this one BG for background. And let's make sure that it's with its 1920 by 1080 frame rate 30 fps duration you can pick whatever you want just click on ok and inside this composition we can like drag our background image which is this one so this does not have the object now in the same way we can create another composition so let's call this one and let's call this book because this is going to be our composition for the book and in this one we can drag the other image which has our object this book perfect so once you're done with this we can create one more composition Let's call this one main because in this composition, we are going to do everything. So under the main, I'm going to quickly drag my book and the background. Now this technique will work with whatever object you want. So basically we want this book to reveal. So for that, we have to separate this book from the image. So for that, we can select the pen tool and I'm going to like just simply draw a rough mask. So let's select this book and we can probably zoom in. And this is one of those steps that you have to do like precisely because we want the book to be completely cut out so make sure that this book layer is selected just click and start drawing this rough mask outside this book and you can do it precisely because this is a very important step and i will come back once it is done so now i'm done with the masking and here you can see we have this book and i can easily move it around and you will notice that this is not looking very impressive because we don't have any kind of contact shadows or something like that. So we can fix that by simply adding some fake shadows. Let me just quickly show you how. So let's select this pen tool. Make sure none of this layer is selected. Now we can like probably zoom in and let's just simply draw a very rough shape and something like that just to mimic some shadows and let's just create a very rough shape you don't have to be precise like that let's place it behind this book and on this one we can apply fill effect let's drag the fill and i'm going to quickly change its color to black also let's apply gaussian blur drag it to this and let's uncheck the repeated edge pixel and i'm going to increase the blurriness something like that now let's go over here i'm going to change its mode from normal to overlay also, this is too harsh, so I'm going to press T and let's lower down its opacity to something like 30. And right away, you can see we are able to see some shadows and I think this looks good. And maybe if you want, you can like play around with it however you want. You can like move it to whatever length you want. Yeah, I think this looks good. Perfect. So here we have added some really nice shadow, but still there are a few things that you can like play around if you really want to like merge this. So you can see that we don't have any kind of reflection in the surface, but if I like bring back the original one like that. So here you can see we have these reflections, these really nice reflections in the surface. So we can like fix that by simply selecting this layer and let's duplicate this by pressing Ctrl D. And on this one, we can go inside or you can press M for mask. Let's open the mask property and let's just quickly solo this layer. And if I select this layer, you can see we have this mask expansion property. So if I increase this little bit up, nothing much, just a little bit. And after that, we can increase the feather like that. Now you can see that we are able to see some reflections. And now if I like just uncheck it, you can see that now we have added these reflections as well. Now you can see we are able to see these reflections over here. So this is the before and after and this makes our image looks like much more blended. So once you're done with this, we can like quickly select this and let's just rename this to book feather. And this is going to be our book only. So now we have our final scene and the next step is to like just simply reveal this book. So let me show you how to do that. For that, we are going to create another composition. Let's call this one matte and just click on okay 
inside this composition we are going to like create this shape layer so just simply go to this rectangle tool just double click on it and it will create this shape for the entire composition and i'm going to like make its color white and stroke i'm going to set this to zero and for this one we can like simply create a position keyframe let's press p add a keyframe in the beginning let's move it to somewhere around three seconds and i'm going to like move it out of this frame to the right side like that so we have this sort of animation perfect now on top of this we can also apply one more effect let's search for turbulent displays and let's just drag it onto this and there are a couple of properties that we can change so first thing is the complexity i'm going to set this to 10 the size we can set this to 300 and amount i'm going to set this to 25 so now if i press play you can see we have this very nice reveal with some really nice texture on top of it perfect now if you want to play around with the timing of the reveal then you can like move these keyframes like far away and now the texture will move like very slowly for this example let's keep it to somewhere around four seconds now we can go back to the main composition now before we start revealing we have to like take care of few things so first i'm going to select this book and let's press ctrl d to duplicate this because we might need this layer like later on i'm going to quickly change this color to white and let's just hide it and i'm going to place it at the very bottom so if we need we can like use it from here only now these two layers are like making up our book so we can like pre-compose them and let's just call them final book just click on okay now we can drag our matte layer into this like that so as you can see that if i am moving my cursor you can see we have this reveal now i want this book to reveal from this so for that we can like select this layer and under the track mat option i can just simply pick whip and select this layer now if you're using the older versions of after effects then you won't have the, these pick whips or these layer drop down instead you will have track mat luma mat alpha mat so in that case i would highly recommend you to like update it because this new method is like way easier and much better but if you are using the older versions then make sure to place this layer on top of it and after that you can use the luma or luma inverted now over here our book is like getting vanished and but we basically want the opposite one so we can just change the mat to inverted by clicking over here now if i press play you can see we have this very nice book reveal and the best thing about this method is that we can like easily change the direction of our animation so if i enable this mat layer now let's select this press r and we can like rotate it by let's say negative 45 degree and let's just press s and we can scale it up a little bit so that all of these edges are within this region now if i hide this layer once again and now if i press play you can see now we have created the same animation but with this angle so in this way you can like change the angle to whatever you want it's completely up to you so right now i'm happy with this so before we continue, if you enjoy my work and you want to support me, then you can check out my Patreon page. Over there, you will get access to the tutorial project files and exclusive templates that are available only on Patreon. So make sure to check it out. Link for that is in the description. Now let's continue and let's play around with a couple of few things. So also we can see the shadow is visible in the beginning. So we can add a keyframe for opacity. Let's just set this to zero. So in the beginning, none of the shadows are visible and as it is revealing so somewhere around here, we can like have it revealed and we can have our shadows. Let's just keep it to 30% like that. So if I press play, as this is coming up, our shadows will be getting darker, something like that. Now, in order to make this like a little bit more impressive, what I want is I want a very bright or highlighted colorful edge on top of this to like make this reveal look more impressive now in order to create the glowing edge we are going to make use of this layer book layer which we hide earlier so let's just enable it and let's just place it on top of everything now let's select this mat which we have over here press ctrl d to dupl duplicate this let's place it this one on top of this book layer and also i'm going to like change it to this track mat and just click on here now you can see we have the same reveal the same reveal which we have on to this final book but on to this layer now we can select these two layers right click let's pre-compose them and i'm going to call this one edge just click on ok and let's go inside this edge composition now inside this composition we are going to again select these two layers press ctrl d let's move them to the top and just quickly change their color i'm going to make them to this one and also change its track mat so that it is pointing to this layer so after that we can like select these two layers which are on the top and let's right click click on pre-compose and let's call this one 
edge matte just click on ok now let's select these two and just right click pre-compose and edge matte to and click on ok now in order to add the color we can apply the fill effect let's just click and let's drag it onto this edge and now if i zoom in if i select this top layer let me just quickly zoom in and now depending upon how much you want the stroke width to be you can just simply move this layer by like couple of frames so if i move this one frame you can see now we are able to see some color now if i move it like couple of more frames then you can see that we have this a lot thicker edge again it's completely up to you you can like move it however you want i'm going to just move it around one frame so something like that Here you can see we have this very nice thin edge over here now we only want to see the edge not the book itself so for that we can select this and i can just simply track that and if i set this to inverted now you can see we have separated the edge from the book now there is one more thing if i zoom in you can see that sometimes you will be able to see some like edges we don't want these we only want this edge so in order to fix that we can apply a effect called min max let's search for minimax let's drag it onto the bottom layer and over here we can change this from color to alpha now depending upon what option you want to do so i'm going to set this to minimum and if i increase this like little bit just by like let's say one or two so you can see that right away we are able to get rid of the layer now we can go back to the main composition now you can see that we have this very nice glowing edge but there are a couple of things that you have to take care of so first i'm going to change its mode from normal to add like that now i'm going to place it like down below this book layer now you can see that it will hide because both of these layers are like playing at the same time so we can like offset this just by like one frame like that so here you can see we have added this very nice outline you can get rid of the fill color from here let's just simply delete this and we can instead apply it over here so that we can easily change the fill from this only let's just make this to blue like that now in order to make this more impressive we can apply some glow to this let's search for glow and let's drag it onto this edge layer and since it is set to add we can play around with this now the glow settings it's completely up to you can like get crazy with this so first i'm going to like lower this down and let's just increase this up you can play around with the threshold as well let's just lower this down to something like that let's press ctrl d to duplicate this and let's just increase this up let's duplicate it once again and just play around with it and we are basically creating a stacked version of this glow this is a very popular technique you might have seen it in a lot of videos and let's just play around with the threshold yeah i think this looks good now we have this very nice glowing edge if i press play let's see what we have created and yeah i think this looks good perfect so once you're done with this we are ready to like add some particles to this so in order to create the particles it's actually quite easy we basically want the particles to be emitted from wherever we have this edge going on so for that let's select this edge press ctrl d to duplicate this now we can like place it on top of all of these layers and let's just quickly get rid of all of these glows we don't want any kind of glow on top of it let's just remove it and on this one we can apply cc particle system 2 let's drag it over here let's remove the fill as well and let's open up a couple of these properties physics producer and particles and let's change these properties so first i'm going to go inside let's change the velocity to something like 0.1 the gravity i'm going to set this to negative 0.1 we want the particles to like move up and the type we can set this to shaded sphere or the faded sphere and the size i'm going to set this to 0 0.1 and the depth size i'm going to 0 0.05 variation we can set this to 100 fade we can set this to 100 for the birth color we can pick the same sort of color this blue and the depth color we can set this to white like that now in order to make these particles to appear only from this edge we have to like check this so this is the most important property just check the source alpha inheritance now let's play around with the producer i'm going to set this to 50 comma 50 so that we have a larger producer now if i press let me just quickly solo this up 
if I press play, you can see we are able to see the particles like that, but they are like very small or very less. So we can change the birth rate to something like 100. Also longevity, I'm going to set this to four so that they stay a little bit more. Now if I press play, you can see we have these very nice particles coming up. Now we can uncheck these. And if I go back to the beginning and press play, you can see as our book is revealing, we have this very nice particle reveal. We can select this. Let's quickly rename this to particles and we can have some fading animation over here as well. So let's go to this point. Let's add a keyframe for opacity and somewhere around here. We can set this to zero. So here we have this very nice fade out. So we are done with this as well. Now, in order to make this like really stand out, uh, last step is to like have some shake to this. It's actually quite easy. So let's add an adjustment layer. And on top of this, we are going to apply transform. Let's drag it to this point and let's search for slider controller. Let's drag it over here as well. Select this, press control D. We want two instances. Now hold on the alt key and click on this position. Now under this, we can type our expression for wiggle. Let's add this. Now pick whip and select the first slider. Add a comma. Now pick whip and select the second slider. Now we can control the wiggle by simply using these sliders. So let's pick a point. So as you can see, our animation starts so somewhere around here. We can have these two slider keyframes. Let's press U. Let's pick a point. So I think this is somewhere we can have the maximum value. So let's set this to something like five comma. Let's set this to 50. And let's go to somewhere around here and set this these back to zero. 0 comma 0 now if i press play you can see we have this shake and i think this is too much so for that we can like probably set this to 50 and let's just lower it down to something like 10 or something so now you can see we have the shake now there is one more thing you can see as we are shaking we can see some black edges so we can fix that by simply searching for motion tile effect Let's drag it and make sure that this is on top of all of these effects and set the value to 150 for both the width and height. Make sure that the mirror, mirror edges is checked. Now, if I press play, you can see we will get rid of all of these black areas and we have our final animation. Now, on top of this, you can apply some CC vignette and let's just drag it to this one. And after that, you can like play around with some color grading however you want so this is how you can create these kind of animations and the best thing is that if you want to change the object it's very easy all you have to do is just simply change the background to whatever new background you want and after that you can go back to this composition where you have your object just replace this with the new object and after that all you have to do is just simply make the mask once again like this you have to like mask out your new object and the rest of the animations will be like already applied because we have already used everything inside the pre-compositions so this is how you can create these kind of object revealing animations in after effects and the project files for this tutorial is available on patreon so if you're supporting me over there then you can download it from there and if you're not then you might consider it because you will get access to the tutorial project files and exclusive templates that are available only on patreon so make sure to check it out link for that is in the description now with that being said my name is abhishek and i'll see you the next one.